This is the K40 laser cutter. It's a Chinese laser cutter you can get for about $400 on eBay or Amazon. And it's been working really well for us. This needed a little bit more airflow, so we installed a fan here. You can see we taped some cardboard in. And then we just ran this fan over to a transformer. We can just plug this into the wall. Here's the other side of that airflow tube that we had over on this side. This hole was already here, so it made it really easy to put this piece of cardboard in. Plugged into the laser cutter, we have the air, which is right here. That's the exhaust fan. And we also have the water cooling, which runs down here to a bucket of distilled water. And we have a pump in there that it uses to cool the laser. I've drawn up this luggage tag in Inkscape. You can see that I have used red and black colors. The red is going to tell the laser cutter to cut along this path. The black tells it to engrave back and forth. It's called raster engraved. So it's just going to go back and forth over the whole thing like a printer. It's really important that you clean the laser lens every single time you use it. If you don't clean it, the laser will break your lens. So we pull it out here and you notice that the lens is bending down right now and we want to make sure that we put it back in that way. So I'm just going to clean both sides of this. Make sure that when it goes back in the lens is curving down. got a piece of eighth inch acrylic here. I'm just going to set this in the cutting bed. So we're going to plug the laser into the computer via USB. So now I'm going to turn the laser cutter on. I'm making sure that the laser switch is off while I turn it on. And right now the this current regulation, that's the power of the laser cutter. So you can see we've actually handwritten in some of the values from 0% to 100% power. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to 50% power because that's what we use to cut and engrave acrylic. And now I'm gonna go ahead and home the laser cutter. I'm going to bring it down to about where we want to start cutting. And now over here on the button panel, I'm going to turn the laser on. And it's not cutting yet, but if I press this test switch briefly, I'll get to see where the laser is lined up. So I'm going to do that briefly. And I can see a little mark has formed right here. That's where the laser currently is. That looks like a pretty good place to start cutting. Just to verify that the laser is gonna follow the path I'm expecting, I'm gonna turn off the laser and then go ahead and tell it to cut along the path. And we can watch it just to make sure it goes where we expect that it's going to go. It 
looks like it's good, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the laser back on. And now we're going to cut for real. You always want to do the engraving first before you cut, otherwise the part could fall out and then it won't be able to engrave. So here we go with the raster engrave. You can see it moving back and forth, like I said, engraving kind of in a printer fashion. clear to cut so without moving anything I'm going to go ahead and tell it to do that cut Now, I forgot to adjust the speed for cutting. I needed to slow it down. So it actually has not cut all the way through the acrylic. So I'm just gonna cut that again without moving any. Here we go, cutting again. part is done, I'm going to turn off the laser, turn off the cutter, and then unplug the extra fan. We can go ahead and pull our part out. And this part is still in here, just punch it out. And there we have the laser engraved luggage tag.